Happy Turkey Day to everyone who's in America right now. I'm very excited for this evening's dinner. I don't know how excited you guys are, but I am very, very excited. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today I was tagged by Big Beard Business to do a top 10 fragrances in my collection that I think are outdated. Now I do have a few here. I have eight to be exact. The other two, they're gonna be on this list. I don't own anymore because I sold it and I sold it for the exact same reason. They smell dated to me. And besides the 10 that I'm gonna talk about today, I'm also gonna be giving alternative to those outdated fragrances. And this idea was suggested by one of my subscribers. So thank you for the idea. I'm gonna roll with it. I like it. The first fragrance I wanna talk about, this one I don't own anymore. That one is Boss Bottled. It used to be a men's stable at one point. The smell of creamy, masculine apple. It, it, it was it was so good back in time. It still smells really, really good now. But there's an undenying fact to me that it smells more and more dated as time passes on to me. I personally couldn't wear that kind of DNA anymore. It just reminds me too much of the 1990s or early 2000s. Now I do have a more modern take on Apple for you guys and that fragrance is from Parfum Mali and it's called Layton. I own Layton exclusive right here which to me smells really really amazing but if we're talking a replacement for Hugo Boss I think Layton fits a lot more because Layton to me smells more like a designer fragrance. Now they both share the Apple note. In Hugo Boss it's more of a creamy-ish warm apple. In Layton is a very fresh, invigorating apple mixed with a note of cardamom. Very sexy and very modern spice. Cardamom is just an amazing note for, for any era, in my personal opinion. It can be mixed with almost any note and makes it smell incredible. And that's what Layton is. It's apple mixed with cardamom. It smells amazing. Go try that out if you like Hugo Boss Bottle. Next one we're going to talk about, we're going to keep with the apple theme. This one is Lum by YSL. And yes, uh, I think there's something about the apple note that makes a fragrance smells dated. As you can see, there's not a lot of apple notes being used in men's designer fragrances anymore in this modern era or in the past, you know, five to ten years. It's just an older smelling note now. Apple has become more of a niche kind of note where it incorporate into a creative type of fragrances like Apple Brandy by Killian or Layton by Perfumes de Mali. So yeah, it's not used a lot in designer fragrances anymore and maybe for a good reason. It just smells like a, a you know, a dated note. And sadly, Loam falls into that category. Now my suggestion for Loam is gonna smell nothing like Loam, but it's gonna be used in the same situation. And that one is also Loam, but by Prada. Loam by Prada is just a very clean, office smelling fragrance, very invigorating. Although it doesn't smell similar to YSL alum, you would wear it in the same situation. I mean, you wear YSL alum to basically work environment, professional settings, interview. Same with Prada alum, work environment, professional settings. Works just as fine, if not better, and smells a lot more modern. Moving on to the next one, I have Halloween Man by Jesus Del Pozo, and this one smells like a toned down version of One Million. Now, One Million, I don't have to say anything, is a DNA that, to me should not be worn anymore. I still smell it here in Vegas. And every time I smell it in Vegas, guys, it's like, yeah, yep, that's one million. It's it's a DNA that everyone knows because it's such a popular DNA. This one falls into that group as well because, you know, it's a, it is a clone of one million. But yeah, guys, don't wear that anymore. My suggestions to replace one million, I would go with something that's equally as sweet, if not sweeter, but has more of a creative and modern touch. This fragrance is Ultramel by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And what I mean by creative is I mean the note of pear. It just smells really good. It takes the mal DNA and it takes the idea of a sweet fragrance like one million and it merges it all into one to create something that's totally new. And yeah guys, if you want to smell more modern at the party, more unique, you want to wear something that not everyone knows the DNA of, Ultramel is your go-to one if you like fragrances like one million. Next up, we have a fragrance that is green, sexy smelling, in Invigorating. No, it's not fierce, but it is a clone of it. This is Mont Blanc's legend. This smells like fierce, and fierce is done. The fierce era to me, <laughs> it's over. Everyone knows that DNA as well. I can call up all my friends now who just finished college to ask them, do you guys know Abercrombie and Fish Fierce? And even if they don't like fragrances, I'm sure majority of them would recognize the name. That's how popular it is. And although it smells sexy, it smells still really good now, I don't suggest you wear this kind of DNA anymore, simply because, like I said, it smells really dated now. The more modern take 
on you know a green a dark green smelling fresh fragrance i would say is this one right here this one is dylan blue now this one doesn't have as much of a greenness as it does have ambroxan but it does have the note of patchouli a dark green earthy note oh man and it's strong it's a dark green earthiness mixed with some ambroxan some dior sauvage vibe it smells really good especially if you're a college student and you're looking for a replacement for fierce but you want something that can also be worn every day dylan blue is it for me dylan blue is definitely it very versatile strong as well performance on this is not to be underestimated strong modern really good common factor and again you can wear it anytime so if you like fierce i suggest you try dylan blue moving on to the next one we're gonna keep with the party fragrance kind of theme here and this one is gucci guilty black or any gucci guilty at all the original the intense this version is done <laughs> it is a wrap for these guys man and every time I smell this, it reminds me of like college parties. College parties, youthful vibe, everyone wears it. The DNA of Gucci Guilty is to me just as popular, if not more popular than 1 million at a certain point in time. It smells very generic now, it doesn't smell good anymore. You know how some fragrances in this list, even though it's old but it still smells good? This to me doesn't smell good anymore. It's very generic, sweet, metallic. Yeah, it's a done deal for this one guys and my suggestion to replace Gucci Guilty or Gucci Guilty Black for any one of you guys who still goes to parties, Armani Code Profumo. Armani Code Profumo. This thing to me smells a lot more mass appealing than Gucci Guilty Black. This is the modern day party fragrance. If you're in college, I highly, highly suggest this. If you live in a cold place, I also highly, highly suggest this. This just smells really good, sweet as well, but not a metallic sweet. It has a lot more character, it has a lot more class. It just smells overall so much more modern than Gucci Guilty and the rest of the line. So yeah guys, if you like to go to parties, you still like to wear sweet fragrances, and you like the Gucci Guilty line back in the day, Amani Co Perfumo, really, really great upgrade. All right guys, next one on the list, I don't own this bottle anymore, and that one is Aqua Di Gel, please. Please tell me you're you don't you don't still wear Aqua Di Gio. Tell me because you just joined one of the few millions of people around the world who still wears that fragrance. To me, the DNA it's everywhere, especially when I go to Asian countries. I just smell it on so many people that to my nose is just old. It's dated now. Everyone use it. It's time for replacement. And there's actually one replacement that is in house, and that one is. Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Okay, although it doesn't smell that different in the air, it smells a little bit more darker, more incense more patchouli. It just smells overall more modern. So if you still like the Aqua Di Gio DNA, you want to keep wearing that DNA, but a more modern take of it is Aqua Di Gio Profumo, man. Take that old one and just kind of toss it. I don't know, like maybe keep it in your Hall of Fame collection, but don't wear it anymore. That's just my suggestion and go with Aqua Di Gio Profumo instead. This next fragrance is the father of New Harlem. This spark New Harlem and <laughs> it's not a it's not a very well-known fragrance anymore, but it is Michael Jordan Legend. This breakfast pancake type of fragrance, that syrupy pancake breakfast masculine gourmand type of vibe this is old it's not just outdated it is an old fragrance <laughs> to me this is so old that i don't smell it off anyone anymore like i don't remember the last time i smelled a breakfasty gourmand dna on someone nowadays that is that old so if you still wear it that's fine all power to you but if you want to smell more modern i do have a more modern gourmand to show you and this is not a full take on a gourmand just it's kind of like a half gourmand this one is one million lucky oh that nutty plum yep it just smells really really good now when i say it's half gourmand because the plum the nutty ish plum accord to me, it smells a bit more gourmand, but it's not a full take on gourmand. It's not super sweet. It's not super foody. It's more like a subtle smelling gourmand fragrance and it's a very interesting take on the 1 million DNA in general. It just smells really good. And to me, one of the best release of 2018 so far. I think if I were to pick one out of the, out of the designer field, this is my favorite release of 2018. It just smells extremely good and it brings in a new twist to the gourmand genre in designer fragrances for sure. So if you wanna smell modern while still smelling a little bit more gourmandish, one million lucky is one I would suggest you to try. This next fragrance, it is so strong. I've not worn it once ever since I bought it to be honest because it just smells very old school. It smells very dated. And this one is Lidge or you know, Linstant de Guerlain per arm. It smells 
like a patchouli mixed gourmand fragrance. Yep, mmm, no more. That, that DNA, long gone. There's that iris smelling gourmand in here. It's an old mix of notes that's done in, you know, an old school way. And to me, to me, I just can't wear this DNA. It just doesn't fit me. It smells old school, it smells dated. It smells kind of last century. Now, my replacement for this doesn't smell anything remotely the same as Lich, but it has that creative vibe because that's what I see Lich at. I see Lich as a creative type of fragrance that back in the day they used to wear. This is a creative fragrance for the modern time. And this one is Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Ugh, it just smells really good. It has that sweet masculine darkness as well. Very, very modern take on a creative fragrance. Not a lot of people wear this for that same exact reason is that it's a little bit too artsy for some people. Now, for those people who like Lidge and like to wear something artsy, even way back in the day, you guys might appreciate a fragrance like Tom Ford's Noir Extreme because with this one, you still, just like Lidge, will stand out today. So yeah. My suggestions, Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Two more to go guys, and the next one we have here is Abercrombie and Finch Woods. This was my first ever fragrance in my collection. Smelling this now just brings back so much memories, oh my gosh. If you guys are wondering what it smells like, it's a barbershop fragrance. It's a more musky take on a barbershop fragrance, so yeah, it does smell very dated. It does smell dated like most barbershop fragrances are. Now if we're talking replacement, I've picked one with a similar vibe. I said, you know, barbershop fragrances are known to be clean and gentlemanly. This one is also clean, gentlemanly, and has a lot more of that creative touch to it now that makes it more modern. And this fragrance, I got it yesterday, but I was testing it all night and I absolutely love it. This one is Bulgari's Man Wood Essence. Yep, if you want to go for masculine clean, but still has a huge impact, with a modern twist, with a modern type of creativity, Wood Essence, man. This is the next new hidden gem for me. If you guys have not tried it, please get your nose on it. It smells so good. This one just grabs me so much that I really, really can't ignore it. I'm glad I picked up a bottle of this because it's just, it's just really good. If you guys have not tried Borgari's Wood Essence yet and you like barbershop fragrances, you like old school kind of clean, gentlemanly fragrance, you have to try this. Before I move on to the next fragrance, Borgari Man Wood Essence does not smell like a barbershop fragrance, but it just has that clean and gentlemanly vibe. Okay, just throwing that out there because there are gonna be those people who think I said it smells barbershop It doesn't it just has a clean gentlemanly vibe and it, it just makes a good replacement for any barbershop fragrances out there That used to be you know popular. All right guys last one this one to me doesn't smell that dated It definitely has more of a modern twist to it than the rest of these But it's not the most modern when it comes to this genre of fragrance and this one is Tom Ford's gray vetiver This is yet another clean smelling work gentlemanly fragrance. It still smells modern today. You can still definitely use it, but it's not the most modern, like I said. When it comes to this genre, there's one fragrance that overtakes it for me. Clean, masculine as well. Also works really well in an office setting, much like Grey Vetiver. And this one is John Bravado's Artisan Pure. My most favorite citrus now. This one has vetiver in it that makes it smell more clean, more grounded, more gentlemanly. This one, it's just fresh. White t-shirt, fresh citrus. Just smells like a more modern day guy. Not, not as much of a suit and tie as this, but definitely more white t-shirt, more relaxing. Similar vibe in the greenness and the citrus, but overall, this smells like late 21st century, while this smells like early 21st century. Both are still, to me, pretty modern, but this one is definitely the more modern one. All right guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for Big Beer for tagging me in this fun video. I had I had a lot of like good times just thinking about the fragrances I was gonna put on this list. Some nostalgia moments, so thank you for that. And now it's time for me to tag a couple reviewers. And for me, the first person I'm gonna tag is gonna be Ashton from Jensen's because I know he has a big collection. He, ha he probably has a lot of fragrances that to him smells very dated now, so I'm gonna tag Ashton, another person that I'm gonna tag will be Cubano. Yes, Cubano, you are tagged. And with that said, guys, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Again, happy Thanksgiving and peace. Bye.